Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss another lead code problem, LFU cache, least frequently used cache, which is different from LRU cache, least recently used cache. It is good to understand LRU cache implementation before understanding LFU cache. I have given LRU cache video link in the description. Please watch it if you are interested. Our cache comes with limited capacity. We must provide cache capacity as part of the cache initialization. We must implement two functions, get and put. Get function takes key as input and returns the value if it exists. It returns minus one if the value does not exist. The put function takes both key and value as input. It updates the value of the key if it is present. Otherwise, it inserts the key value pair into the cache. In case, if the cache reaches its capacity limits, then it should evict least frequently used key before inserting a new item. In case there are multiple keys with same usage frequency, then remove least recently used key out of them. The expectation is we should implement get and put functions at constant average time complexity. Let's directly jump into the solution. Since the solution is expected with constant time complexity, hash map is the best suited data structure here. We will store key value pair into this hash map. Insertion and retrieval of data takes constant time with hash maps. Let's assume that this hash map is our cache. Our cache comes with limited capacity as per the problem statement. Let's assume that our cache capacity is 2. It can store maximum of two key value pairs only. Any time when you try to insert new key value pair when it is at its maximum capacity, it must evict one of its key value pairs to create room for the new insertion. The eviction policy is least frequently used. We must identify which key is used least frequently and then delete it before inserting a new key. So we must track each key usage count. We will use this hash map. We have named it frequency map. In this hash map, the key represents count and the value represents list of cache keys. Why list of cache keys? Because it is very common that multiple keys usage count can be same. So we are using list of keys as a value in this hash map. Now, when the least frequently used keys are more than one in this list, how to choose which key to be deleted? As per the problem statement, we need to identify least recently used keys out of this list. So rather using list as a value here, we will use doubly linked list as a value so that we can control node order based on usage. I suggest to watch LRU cache implementation to understand better why we need doubly linked list here. In general, registering raw value into this hash map as it is, we can store linked list node as a value in this hash map. So we can keep track of each key's usage count within the node itself. Then we can easily identify in which linked list this node is part of. We can easily relate these two hash maps. I mean, here we have count as a key and linked list as a value. There will be multiples of key value pairs. If we know the count, then only we can identify respective nodes linked list in this hash map. In our case, node will be holding the key usage count. If we know the count, then we can directly relate to the linked list in this hash map. In general, if we want to reduce code, or if we want to use language provided linked list as it is, we don't need to maintain node objects. We can simply store raw values into this hash map as it is. In such cases, how can we maintain key usage count? This is why we need this hash map to maintain key usage count. Here in this hash map, key will be cache key and value will be usage count. If we know the key, then we will get its usage count from this map 
and then we can identify which linked list it is part of. Now, how do we know least usage count at any given point of time? We need to keep track of it. This variable min usage count will hold least frequently usage count at any given point of time. Let's apply these actions and understand the logic better. Initially, the cache is empty. We are making a put call here. Key is 1 and the value also 1. We will be inserting this key value pair into the cache. In general, we will check does the key already exist or not in the map before insertion. We will consider put call also as part of usage count. Let's track the count. So our key is 1 and its usage count is 1. Now in the frequency map, we will add count as 1 and we will maintain a link list. In the list, we will add our key here. We will maintain key usage order in this link list. We will update minimum usage count value as 1 here. By default, we will update this value with 1 during any new insertions. Let's go to the second action. Again, it is put call. Since the cache size is 1 and the key 2 does not exist in the cache, just insert it. We will update usage count also. The key is 2 and its count is 1. Since its usage count is 1, we will add this key under this linked list itself. Now, look at the insertion order. The tail is always carries the most recently used keys and the head always carries the least recently used keys. So, it is always easy to identify which is least recently used key from this list. The next action is get call. The key 1 is exist in the cache. Simply return its value. Before returning the value, we must update our usage counts. Increment key 1 value to 2. Since the count became 2, we need to maintain a separate list for count 2 here. And then move key 1 from here to here. The next action is put call. If you notice here, the cache is already at its maximum capacity 2. There is no room for new element. So we must evict one of the element before adding another element. Based on our minimum usage count variable, the least frequently used count is 1. Based on this, 2 is the key supposed to be evicted. Remove 2 from here. Delete this entry. Also delete this entry. Now add new entry into the cache. Also update its count. Key is 3, count is 1 and here we will add key 3. The next action is get call. Since key 2 does not exist in the cache, simply return minus 1. The next action is again get call. Key 3 exists in the cache. Return the value. Before returning the value, update counts as well. Increment key 3 count as 2 here and move 3 from here to here. Since count 1 linked list is empty, we need to update minimum usage count value from 1 to 2. The next action is put call. Since the cache is at its maximum capacity, we must evict one of the element before inserting another element. Least frequently used key count is 2 here. But there are two keys in this usage count. So we must find least recently used key from this list. As discussed, linked list head carries the least recently used key. Here, key 1 is part of linked list head. So remove this, delete this entry here, delete this entry also. And then insert new element 4, 4. Update its usage count 4, the count is 1 and the key 4 will be here. Now update least frequently accessed count to 1. The next action is get call. Since key 1 does not exist, return minus 1. The next action is again get call. 
since key 3 is exist return its value before returning its value let's update its count increment its count to 3 and here since count 3 does not have a list create one before moving from here to here and the next action is again put call since key 3 already exists just update its value with 8 update the counters it is 4 since 4 count 4 does not have a list create a list and move key 3 from here to here so this is how lfu cache least frequently used cache will be functioning hope you understood let's write code now i have already copied method signatures from lead code as it is let's declare a hash map to hold key value pairs let's declare another hash map to hold key counts now declare a hash map to hold key frequency usage count we will be using linked hash set as a value here declare a variable to hold cache capacity declare a variable to hold least frequently used key count at any given point of time we have initialized its value with minus one let's fill the constructor we will fill frequency map for count one with empty link list now let's fill get function as a first step let's validate does the key exist in the cache or not return minus one if it does not exist If it exists, update counts before returning value. Get the key usage count from counts map. Increment the count value by 1. Since we have incremented the count, remove the key from the counter link list from the frequency map. when the current minimum count linked list is empty then it should be pointing to next count as a minimum value if frequency map does not have linked list for the given count add it Now add the key into the respective count link list. Finally, return the value from cache. Now let's update put function. Simply return back if capacity value is less than 0. Check does the key exist or not in the cache. If it exists, then update its value. Update counts by simply calling get function. We will be reusing code here. Get function increments the key usage count whenever required. And return back. In case the key does not exist, then check the cache current capacity. In case if it is at its max capacity limits, then we need to evict one of the key value pair. So identify the head element in the linked list as per our earlier discussion. Now remove the key from all possible places all possible hash maps now insert the new key value pair into the cache 
update its count with 1. Make sure to update least frequently used count as 1 as it is a new insert. Also, update frequency map with key. We are done with coding. Let's test our code. I have already written main method to save some time. Here we are making sequence of put and get calls. Let's run. Here is the output which is as expected. So this is about LFU cache. Hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Please do like the video and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.